All right, you guys. So today we got something kind of special. It's from Chalice Collectibles. So this past week, they did two mystery box runs. One being a $100 signed mystery box where you get two signed Funko Pops per box. You have no idea what it is. Now, mind you, during that run, I was like, usually they'll release like the top hits from the box. They didn't put anything out there when it comes to what potentially could be hits in said box. The other one was a chase box. I didn't go for the chase box. I think that was like 100 boxes, three chases per box. And I was like, that's not really worth it to me. I want to see what kind of signatures they have in this box. So don't worry, guys. Down below, I'm going to tag it. And I'm going to put when I actually start opening the box. But before we get into opening the box, I do kind of want to talk about signed mystery. I mean, signed Funko Pops, period. End of story. Why? Because I think... They are an awesome, not just an investment, but they are just an awesome thing to have on your shelf to show off, right? So I have quite a few here. I'm going to show you three I got from Toy Temple, I believe it was. One I got off of an auction house. And then two more that are kind of, well, one's a massive grail for me when it comes to signed Funko Pop. So the first one I'm going to show off right here is the, uh, is the sign Ichigo. And... Uh, I can't remember his voice actor, but most of these pops, right, they come with certificate of authentication, authenticity, right? And not just that, but on the window, they're going to show, all right, there it is. It's authentic, right? So we got a sign Ichigo. I got another one. I believe this one I actually got from, I think this was Toy Temple as well, from one of their mystery box, Hunter Hunter Hisako. Or have you pronounce his name? I'm not a Hunter Hunter fan. I think it's highly overrated. I mean, like I said, they're awesome to actually put up on your shelf and show off. Another one I have is actually a signed Gojo. It kind of disappoints me because, like, this one, the other thing is, is, like, when it comes to signing Funko Pops, like, have a really nice thick paint pen. So when you sign on the window, it's not all small like this, if that makes any amount of sense. This is a Chalice Collectible. So obviously I got this one from Chalice. Certificate of Authenticity. This is PSA. The other two were actually from um, JSA. Uh, this is the one I actually got from the auction house. And it's from the lead singer of one of my all-time favorite bands, Slipknot. Corey Taylor signed Funko Pop. It's kind of kind of dusty. I've had it on the shelf for a while. These next two are obviously going to be from... Uh, Chalice Collectible. Um, Chalice used to do ones where they would get, you know, actually encased Funko Pops. These ones are so dope. I love how it looks encased with uh, just period, end of story, the authentication. Um, there's the authentication on the side of the window. And then, of course, this one, Gem Mint 10 signed Funko Pop. But this one right here is hands down my grail when it comes to all my signed Funko Pops. You might ask why. Because this one, hands down, is amazing. It's signed by, this one I know for a fact I got from Chalice Collectibles. It is a signed Chris Sabbath, Sean Schemmel, Vegito. I just, I love this Funko Pop. Like I said, this right here is one of my grails all time. I love having it on my shelf. Granted, it is the special edition sticker. And if you are a sticker connoisseur and you love stickers, Chalice Collectibles is one of those ones that have a lot of special edition stickles, stickers, stickles. Um, so if you're not looking for a special edition sticker, I recommend going and buying somewhere else. The other thing I kind of want to look at before we really get into cracking open this $100 signed mystery box from Chalice Collectibles is since they didn't have on the website potential hits, I'm like, let me take a look and browse and see what they have in their sign section on their website. So, of course, they got Sniper King uh, from One Piece. They got uh, Gallard from Attack on Titan, a signed Charizard, which I, I'm assuming that's the voice actor. They got a bunch of Luffy's, and I mean a bunch. Um, some more signed JJK Pops, um, more One Piece, some Dragon Ball Z. Um... I will admit, I have Sean Schemmel, of course, on the Vegito, but I also have a signed 
Vegeta. I have assigned All Might. I hopefully I don't get a Sean Schemmel. Like I love him, one of the greatest voice actors of uh, his generation. But I have enough signed um, Chris Sabbath, not Sean Schemmel, Funko Pops. I think I only have one Sean Schemmel sign. Um, we got some more. Uh, it, it appears that they do have some signed Avenger Funkos, which I'm cool with. Um, but I understand why they did away with the PSA authentication Funko Pops. Because if you're looking, they <laughs> $160, $120, $175, $300, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,